Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to endorse the film Lethal Weapon 2. Um, I've seen that movie many times in high school. It's one of my favorite movies. Kind of still is. And it rings a bell because um, a few days back, Ahmed Kothrada passed away. He was an anti-apartheid activist. And Lethal Weapon 2 was an anti-apartheid movie, basically. It was where the Los Angeles Police Department, namely Cap Sergeant Ray, excuse me, Sergeant Riggs and Sergeant Murtaugh uh, played, Sergeant Riggs was played by Mel Gibson. Uh, Sergeant Murtaugh was played by Danny Glover. And they uh, go on and take on the some some guys in the South African consulate because these guys in the South African consulate were dealing a lot of drugs. And it, while it was a fiction movie, uh, Richard Donner did a good job directing it. And Richard Donner said he wanted to make an anti-apartheid movie. And while... I'm not sure if the South African, the apartheid South African government dealt drugs or not. They were involved in counterfeit currency. The cops that were um, that were retained, not the presidential bodyguards. That's a different story. Not the Secret Service agents, but the the cops. Some of the cops that were cops during apartheid, uh, when Mandela decided to retain them, it was not most of them. Most of them, except in Mandela, that were glad of the change and all these other things. But there were some that printed sixty four million dollars. U.S. dollars worth of counterfeit currency, and this is now being come to light because a major, a former major general in the police department, uh, Andre Lincoln, he is uh, starting to testify to that because Andre Lincoln did not have ties to this Italian mobster living in uh, South Africa, but the cops who were cops under apartheid, some, some of them said that he did, but it was bogus charges, and he was eventually reinstated, but he lost his job for a while, and the. Lethal Weapon 2 touches on the evils that happen with the apartheid government, um, but it also has a uh, Caucasian South African that worked as a secretary in the consulate who was against what her boss and her government was doing. So I highly endorse the movie and highly recommend the movie, and I have it, like, I have it programmed in my Kindle Fire, so I um, need to watch it whenever I want to. So... Anyways, props to Richard Donner for making this film. He did a very noble thing. And actually, it was the third highest grossing film worldwide in 1989. And actually, even though the South African consulate in real life said it was an awful film, the the it was allowed to air in South Africa in 1989. It was about a year before Mandela was released. Um, it was allowed to air in South Africa, and it actually grossed very well in the box office. So a lot of South Africans went to go see it. So that shows you that a lot of Caucasian South Africans were against the apartheid system. So, like I said, I endorsed it, and I enjoyed it. So, anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.